Hundreds of Muslim faithful took to the streets of Nairobi after the media Juma prayers with the Christian faithful joining in later on. Backed by religious groups, the demonstrators assembled at the Supreme Court premises to protest its decision last month to reaffirm the LGBTQ community's right of association. Holding placards, the protesters chanted anti-LGBTQ slogans while another section condemned the government for its silence on the matter. The protesters said same-sex relationships are prohibited in all religions and that they were not African, hence the need for all Kenyans to reject them. <laughs> His Excellency President William Samuai Ruto, to father, to kona shida yetu as inchi, to makupa kure yetu, to makuamini, was it to let Western culture ya waharibu inchi yetu. He also criticized the five-judge bench that upheld the right of the National Gay and Lesbian Human Rights Commission to register in February this year. The Supreme Court last month reaffirmed an earlier ruling that the non-governmental organization board in Kenya had discriminated against LGBTQ people when it refused to register the association. The two dissenting judges opposed the ruling on the grounds that Kenya's laws outlaw same-sex relationships. We also called upon legislators to formulate and enact laws that prohibit LGBTQ practices in Kenya. Um, first, let me start by saying that um, I always believe in everyone having an equal opportunity to life, to basic things. And I always believe that if someone is doing something that doesn't affect other people, that person should be left alone. If someone is doing something in the confine of their own home and uh, their activities does not affect the life of their neighbors, then they should be left to do what they want. It's funny to see that Muslim and Christian hardly ever agree on anything whatsoever. They won't even agree which God they are serving is the right one. But you can see them rallying together against an LGBTQ cause. <laughs> Whenever something goes our way, we quickly claim victory. We, click, we quickly acknowledge it and uh, we are so happy we did. But why is it that when it doesn't go our way, it becomes a problem? Why? Why can't we learn to accept things even if they do not go our way? Why? Must everything be exactly as we wanted? Must everything be exactly as we wanted? And the reason why I'm asking all this question is because when the lawmakers in Uganda passed one of the most draconian anti-LGBTQ bill, and uh, their president, Museveni, signed that bill into law, Everyone celebrated. Christians from all over the world were so happy. Even the Muslims, they all celebrated. No one thought how that new law was going to affect ordinary people who are members of the LGBTQ community. No one thought about that. All we thought was just to jubilate. It's like we humans always find pleasure seeing other people suffer. It's like that. Because if not, how would we be happy, be jubilating when our friends, our brothers, our sisters, members of our community are being persecuted? How does that bring us joy? How? And I, I always ask people who view this channel 
how does an activity being carried out by someone in the LGBTQ community directly affect your life? And those of you in Uganda, how has this new law improved your life? How has this draconian law make your life better? How has it? So coming back to Kenya, now that these judges said that let's allow these people to be able to register their organizations, to be able to register their NGO, Christian and Muslims are protesting. Hadn't been that this ruling was the other way around you will see Christian and Muslim very happy about it. So the double standard in which we do things is so out of place. We must learn to follow the rules. We must learn to respect the rules and regulations of a place, no matter if we find them favorable or not. We must learn to respect our authorities whom we have entrusted with certain powers. People in Kenya, the Christian and the Muslim, should not be protesting, should not be calling for the resignation of these three judges. They should not. Because I do believe that if this thing had gone their way, they would not have been calling for these people to resign. They would not have allowed the, people, the LGBTQ to even protest. And even if they did, the decision from these TV judges would have still stand. People must understand that not everything must always go their way. Not everything must always happen exactly as they want it to happen. And sometimes things will not go your way, but you will learn to accept it. For the sake of other people, for the sake of people who do not associate as you do, you would learn to be more understanding and have some compassion for them. You know, a brave man is not someone who always fight back. A brave man is not someone who always hit back. A brave man is someone who understands other people's situation. A brave man is someone who does not necessarily agree with other people, but has the tolerance and sympathy towards other people. That is a brave man indeed. 